हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज वसंत नायक फ्रॉम वास्टेक चैनल विल कंटिन्यू अवर एम पी मॉडल टू सेशन इन द लास्ट सेशन और इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी आर स्टडीड द वेरियस डॉस इंटरप्टर एस्पेशली द डॉस फंक्शंस ऑफ इंटरप्ट ट्वेंटी वन एच सो डॉस फंक्शन ऑफ इंटरप्ट ट्वेंटी वन एच आर वन इज जीरो नाइन जीरो नाइन विद द इंटरप ट्वेंटी वन एच विद जीरो नाइन इज नथिंग बट आउटपुटिंग ए स्ट्रिंग ऑफ डेटा टू द मॉनिटर दट इज आउटपुटिंग ए स्ट्रिंग ऑफ डेटा टू द मॉनिटर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वन सिंग लेट एस रिवाइज दिस वन आई एंड ट्वेंटी वन एच विद जीरो टू आउटपुटिंग ए सिंगल कैरेक्टर टू द मॉनिटर then i enter 21 option uh, with 01 inputting a single character with echo that means uh, while inputting a single character it will be displayed on the monitor next one is uh, i enter 21 option with the uh, a inputting a string of data through keyboard and the last option in this case is uh, I need twenty one twenty one H with option zero seven input character without echo input single character without echo. This requires user to enter a single character, but the character is not displayed. So five options you have to write zero seven and zero nine zero two zero one. Other than that, zero A, zero A is uh, get the data from the keyboard and store it in a predefined area of the memory. Here you can see, like uh, a data is, I mean, uh, a, uh, this one uh, memory location is reserved uh, with six characters. Uh, memory location is reserved here, and uh, calling interrupt twenty one is the zero A function. Data one is uh, moved through keyboard uh, to the particular location. It will get the data from the keyboard and it will store in that location. So these are the various uh, DOS functions uh, under Interp Twenty One H. is very important from the exam point of view. so we'll see one more program here the program is something like uh, clear the screen set the cursor at the beginning of the third line from the top of the screen uh, third line beginning of the third line accept the message ibm personal computer from the keyboard converts the lower case uh, letters of the message to upper case displays the converted result on the next line so here dot model dot stack then one uh, in dot uh, data segment dot data we have reserved one uh, location buffer uh, i mean uh, we have taken one location buffer this will store the data whatever keyed in from the keyboard so from the keyboard we will uh, input the data like ibm personal computer then one more location uh, this will uh, convert the data what is keyed in from the keyboard and uh, convert the data into upper case if it is a lower case it will convert the data, data into upper case and it will store the data so here in the first location buffer 22 bytes are reserved by using dop operator here also 22 bytes are reserved by using dop operator but here we have included carriage return and line feed because the converted result should be stored on the next line next one is the 
dot code in the dot code here carriage return and line field uh, equate it to 0d and uh, 0a you can directly write 0d and 0dh and 0ah uh, or separately you can write so instead of writing separately you can directly write here 0d and uh, 0dh and uh, 0ah 0d indicates uh, carriage return and 0ah indicates the next line in the dot code uh, i am calling the main procedure I am writing the main procedure with initialization, then call clear, clear screen, then call cursor, set the cursor position, then call get data, call convert, call display, all these uh, different procedures we have already studied, now you have to club these procedures. So how to club this one, first you just see call clear procedure. So call clear procedure, whatever you studied, same procedure you have to write here. This is a standard statement, uh, call clear, this will clear the screen. Then second procedure is, uh, set the cursor to the beginning of the third line, yeah, of course. To set the cursor, we are using in 10H, uh, with the 0 to set the cursor position, uh, AH value 0 to, and where we have to set the cursor, like uh, row is uh, 0, 0, column is, uh, sorry, page, uh, page 0, and we have to set the cursor at the column 1 and row 3. Column 1 and row 3, 0, 1 and 0, 3. Set the cursor at the particular position. This one is a standard routine. Third one is a display message. We have already, we already declared the message in the data segment. You have to display the message by using int21h and 09. Fourth one is a the subroutine puts the data from the keyboard into buffer. So now you have to get the data from the keyboard and the, that you have to store in the particular buffer what you have declared. So for that we are using int21h and 0ah that will uh, store the that will ask you to input the data and that inputted data will be stored in the buffer location. So this is also very simple. Only thing is, uh, next one is the convert procedure. You have to convert the lower case into upper case. For that, uh, you refer the earlier program, which I have told. So earlier program, how to convert lower case into upper case, that you can. Only thing is uh, offset, uh, offset uh, location, uh, you have to use a buffer in that. Offset location, you have to use a buffer. And I already told you how to convert lower case into upper case. Same program you can write. Uh, I don't want to explain once again next program for you here because uh, you will get confused so better you write that program only so it is easy so how to convert uh, lower case uh, into upper case uh, so same program you can write here so next one is Write any LP which reads the last name and displays the length. Last name and displays the length. So dot model small, dot stack 64 and dot data in that one message. What is your name, last name? Followed by dollar string. Then uh, I will take one more location buffer one. Here I will store that uh, location. Uh, I have taken uh, with the uh, like uh, the, the, this is the name buffer one is the name given to the location uh, with the nine bytes are reserved here uh, with the dupe operator. The next one is uh, message two. I am going to display one message two. The number of letters in your letter is in your name is that is on the next line uh, and uh, uh, carriage return and li line feed. So the carriage return and line feed you can see here. Uh, and uh, I have also taken here one more variable row and column that is it should be displayed on the eighth row and uh, fifth column eighth row and uh, fifth column now dot code initialization call clear function call cursor function cursor will be set to this one 0 8 and uh, 0 5 now move h comma 0 9 uh, move dx offset of message 1 message 1 what is message 1 what is your last name 
then call the interrupt once again move h comma 0 a move dx comma offset of buffer 1 this one and interrupt 21 h here i am calling the interrupt what is the main function of this interrupt to get the last name from the keyboard as soon as the last name user enters the last name from the keyboard that is stored in a buffer 1 after that uh, find the number of letters in the name move the offset of buffer 1 then move cl comma bx plus 1 so here offset of buffer 1 is moved to bx so this command will get the number of letters because bx plus 1 bx plus 1 is the next, nothing but next location this will get the number of letters after that i want to convert that into uh, ascii representation for that i will what i will do is uh, i will use var instruction and uh, uh, var with 30 h then i want to store that in a particular location uh, message 2 at the end of this message i want to store that one so message 2 plus 40 what is message 2 message 2 is nothing but offset of this message uh, starting address of this message uh, plus 40 locations uh, approximately 40 locations uh, and at the end uh, i will store the result uh, that is here the number of letters in your letter is somewhere here i will store the result so then move h comma 0 9 move h comma 0 9 offset of message 2 then in 21 h so to display that one to display that one i will use in 21 h with the 0 9 option move h comma 4 ch and come out so please remember this one important program here read read in last name and display the length read in last name and display the length so two messages two locations i have taken one is the what is your last name what is your last name this is this is the prompt what is your last name then user will enter the last name that will be stored in uh, location buffer one then after that message two the number of letters in your last name and here the number of letters will be displayed so row number 8 and column number 5 to set the cursor then uh, cr and lf you know carriage return and line field after that call the clear clear screen call the cursor same program then uh, display the prompt what is that prompt what is your last name to display that one uh, these are the three lines with the 21 h then get last name from the keyboard this is to get the string from the keyboard this is this one when these commands are executed user has to prompt the last name and that last name is stored in uh, buffer one now move the offset address of the buffer one move the content get the number of letters sorry get the number of letters how it will get the number of letters by this instruction see bx plus one bx plus 1 don't get confused bx plus 1 uh, will count entire number of letters because uh, bx uh, starting address of the offset uh, plus 1 means uh, next location so it will count the number of uh, letter, letters and it will move that to cl and after that convert that into ascii and store the result as i said uh, at particular location Store the result at a particular location, then uh, display the message using a uh, offset. Message, sorry, display that one using offset. So next one is uh, write a program to perform the following. See, all the programs are almost same. You have to try to understand the logic. Clear the screen, set the cursor at draw for you, and column one prompt. There is a message for you from Mr. John to read it entire. See, this program has repeated in the exam. So we will see in the next session.